In our continuing series, Open for Business, which spotlights local small businesses, tonight's small shop is one that has style and soul. And our Victoria Whittle is live from home to tell us more about old soul decor in Westchester. Hi, Tori. Hey, Jessica. I don't know, maybe you and like many people out there, uh, do you have a throw pillow problem? <laughs> Little one. <laughs> well, you might want to shield your eyes then. Okay. Uh, because, yes, Old Soul Decor in Westchester has everything you need to beautify your home. But the real beautiful part of this story is that this shop seems to be the heart and soul of the community. Take a look. Treasure hunters. <laughs> like, I want to be like that 1950s housewife with, like, you know, the gorgeous little thing, the cigarette and the martini. <laughs> this is so me. In Westchester, an old welding building has been reimagined in such a way by Crystal Renard and her team that it makes you feel as if you're peering inside of a dollhouse, where eclectic corner vignettes and raised compartments show you a glimpse at just how beautiful living can be. Whether you pick up a candle and, you know, a couple wine glasses or you need your whole, you know, room furnished, we have something for everybody. This is Missoni, like at the Missoni Fashion House. Oh, wow. That's special. In 2015, Crystal started Old Soul Decor, which at the time resided on Market Street. But in 2020, COVID forced its closure simultaneously forcing Crystal to design a new identity for her business in what was her storage space. It was very eerie and scary. Um, you know, it, ironically, it was at the end of my lease. It was our goal to go under one roof in terms of the full operation, so the custom woodworking, the interior design, and retail. In terms of, of COVID, it actually made us pivot, you know, a little faster. I couldn't just throw my hands up in the air, uh, so it was a lot of time and soul searching and thinking, and, you know, in the end, this is what we created. If you build it, they will come. Our company's old soul because we all have this soul and energy that we want to support each other. So, And for Crystal, support from customers poured out of the woodwork. Well, speaking of supporting each other, I just want to read you something really quickly. Currently, there is this slow trickle of small businesses that are shuttering their hopes and dreams as casualties of COVID-19. Like many, I watched Crystal regroup and regroup again, attempting to simply survive. She worked even harder as if that was possible. She is coming out of this sharper and more determined than ever of her business destiny and personal purpose. Your investment to feature old soul decor will produce more than you can imagine. Yeah. So it's things like that where you just can't not, you know, keep the tears back because it's it's our clients and customers who, you know, are keeping us alive. And again, it's not just me, it's all the small businesses because we are the heart and soul of our country. So we need to keep everybody, you know, in business and support each other as best as we can. The blurb from the email that I read was only a short paragraph of a few pages in an email attachment. And that was not the only person that reached out. I had close to about 15, almost 20 people reach out to me uh, to feature Old Soul Decor. So we are with you, we hear you, and we hope now everyone knows about Old Soul Decor so Crystal and her team can continue to beautify the community and really continue to make houses homes. Um, and uh, she wrote in a beautiful post on Instagram today that creatives are essential uh, to our, our well-being and our living as well. Um, and we have so much to thank for just the, the beauty that sometimes art can bring and the people that bring it to us. So thank you to Crystal and her team. And uh, Jessica, I feel like I mm -hmm. probably have room for about nine more throw pillows. What do you think? And you need them. Yes. You can never <laughs> go know. big or go home. We are at home. That's but true. great story, Tori. Thank you.